Find everything you need today? Yeah. Great. Okay. No! Everything okay, ma'am? Oh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. This isn't going to be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. <gasps> oh, my God! The numbers are going up so fast! Don't look up there. It only makes it worse. Keep your eyes on me, okay? <sighs> Can't you just scan something less expensive? I can, but let's not forget. It's the little things that add up, all right? Now brace yourself. I'm about to do the mixed nuts. Oh, my God. I'm going to pass out. Okay, bite down on this, Patricia. <gasps> Get ready. I'm going to do the cured meats. <gasps> oh, no, stop. I can't do this anymore. It's too late. There's a line behind you, okay? You're locked in. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot right now, but I promise you, you're going to get home and you're going to wonder, what did I even buy? <laughs> okay, your total's $257.84. <laughs> Patricia, it's time to pay. another vlog um i just got back in from um just running some errands really i just went to sephora uh because i haven't had a chance to go it's the vib sale so i always try to go and get things whenever it's, the sale is on so um you guys would have seen i think i did some clips while we we're in there i didn't do many clips because it was so packed in there and i went at like one o'clock in the afternoon so i don't know if people were on a lunch break or just people who just aren't working this time of day. I don't know, girl. But I did secure a few things. Um, I got some new products. I got a lot of new products. And so um, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got from the Sephora, Sephora VIB sale. So um, I got a few things in here. A um, few good bit of things. So I'm excited about them because one particular thing I think I had on my list to get because I was making me like a little list on um the website because i was just going to order stuff on the website and then just like pick it up in store but i actually end up forgetting to do that so anyway so yeah i'm going to show you guys a few little goodies that i got from the vib sale um the first thing i got was this by glow recipe and it is the avocado ceramide moisture barrier cleanser i need another cleanser i only have one cleanser that i'm currently using it's by Cetaphil and I think it's about out so I wanted to try some new cleansers um I'm trying to like get into like skincare and try out new skincare because I typically use the same stuff over and over again you know if it doesn't if it ain't broke don't fix it right um but I wanted to try some other things just to try it out so this is yeah a cleanser it's nourishing and it's also a makeup remover removing cleanser so um I need cleansers like that because I wear I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do wear some makeup, so I like to have cleansers that's going to get off the excess makeup after I've used like a uh, face like a face balm or like a makeup balm. I use several, um, but anywho, so then I would try this out and see if I was intrigued by it. So we'll see how that goes. I may use some of these products tonight and share and kind of show you guys. Um, the next thing I got was another cleanser. Um, I was, my husband ended up going with me just because we just wanted to, I don't know, just wanted to ride with me over there because it takes me a while to get to our nearest Sephora. Um, but anyway, so I was telling him, I was like, I don't know if I need two cleansers because this is a cleanser too. 
And he was like, why not? They do different things. So usually he'd be like, no, you don't. But he's like, why not? They do two different things. So, or they do different things. So, um, but this is by Laneige or Laneige, Laneige. I think that's the brand. Um, and it is the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. And this is supposed to soften and visibly smooth your skin. So we'll see how this works. It's for all skin types. Um, yeah, this one, this one also removes makeup. So love that. So yeah, this is just how the box looks. Let me open, actually open up the products <laughs> so you can see the actual packaging. So yeah, the avocado, the glow, the glow uh, recipe, it um, comes in this little green um, little container, which I love. Um, I'm trying to see if I ever used glow recipe before. I think, yeah, I have. I've used a um, moisturizer from there, from that brand. So, and I liked it. It was a watermelon. I think it's a watermelon moisturizer I used from there. So, just thought I would try out the cleanser. I might go back and actually get that moisturizer because I really like that. So, so anyway, that's what the avocado um, cleanser looks like. And then the, the Laneige, 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 however you want to say it. It's just like a blue container. Um, simple little blue container. So, both of these will fit perfectly up there with my skincare little tower that I have on my sink. So, I love skincare. If you, if you didn't know that about me, um, I love skincare and I love makeup. And I'm trying to get into more skincare and makeup. Um, I'm still going to do the fashion stuff, y'all. But I'm trying to get more into skincare and makeup. Um, so, the next thing I got is from Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin. This is the Cookies and Cream Detox Face Mask. And this is actually something that I had on my wish list on the Sephora website that I wanted to get. Because um, it looked intriguing. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it looks like clips and cream on the inside. So let's see. Let me take this little piece off. So yeah, it looks like cookies and cream on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. I wish it would focus. There we go. So it's like cookies and cream on the inside. Yeah, doesn't smell like cookies and cream. But it definitely looks like cookies and cream. So... Um, so we'll try that. I wanted to try some new face masks because I don't I think I have one that I'm currently using that I got from Amazon. So we'll see. This is, yeah, a detox face mask. So, and it's a small container. I was thinking on the website, I don't know why it looked like the container was bigger on the website, but it's 75 milliliters, 2.5 fluid ounces. So I guess um, I have the other one. So obviously I can't use this every day, um, but we'll see. How that works i might do this tonight um we'll see might do like some self-care tonight do me like a little bath and do some you know face skincare tonight um all right the next thing i got is by glow recipe and this is the plum plump hyaluronic cream doing moisture and plump so this is pretty much a moisturizer and it's a refillable moisturizer so i don't know where you would go to refill it or if you just buy the container to refill it but what is this? It comes, comes with this dew drops. I don't know what this is. Is this like a, um, at the last step of makeup routine, apply on the high points of face to highlight. So I don't know, like some dew drops that came with this in the packaging here. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. So cute, so pretty, so spring-like. So yeah, this is just a um, moisturizer. So let's see, uh, try to open it up. And looks very plump. Let's see what this smells like yeah doesn't have any kind of smell to it i thought maybe it would smell like watermelon because a lot of their items smell like watermelon but it does not so but i'm gonna start using that and see what my how my skin reacts and how it you know does to this so it is a lightweight creamy gel moisturizer that melts into the skin quickly leaving a refreshing dewy glow it features a hydrating blend of three plum extracts, five weights of hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid for long lasting intense hydration. So I don't really need a lot of hydration because my skin is pretty much oily. So um, I don't know, we'll see how that works. I guess it'll be, I have like nice and glowy skin for the, for the summertime. All right, the next thing I got is this Anastasia um, Beverly Hills. Uh, this is the Brow Freeze Gel. And I was going in there to get the um, Brow Wiz, but they didn't have my shade, so that's fine. And what I've been trying to do with my brows here lately, I don't know if you can see, it's just using, actually just using a gel and just kind of lifting them up and not even filling them in. 
and I've been kind of liking that kind of effect. Um, it's definitely saving me time as far as doing my makeup in the mornings because I don't, I, filling in my brows is a, it's a task. It takes a while. So I've been loving just like using a brow gel and just like combing them up. So yeah, so this is what the brow gel looks like. So it says it is supposed to keep them intact. So we'll see. It has something else that I've been using. Actually, it's empty. I don't even know why I still have it. I was using this one by Anastasia. This is the clear brow wiz. There's nothing in here. So I need to throw it. Matter of fact, let me throw it away now. I don't have anything in there. So that will replace uh well that brow gel will replace this one or this one will replace that one so we'll see how this works and see if you know it does um keep my eyebrows um like define my eyebrows without having to fill them in because i've just been liking that here lately um just kind of like using a gel and just kind of lifting them up that definitely is helping it to look more full and defined so all right so the last thing i got is something that um, i already have in two other colors this is the summer fridays lip butter balm and i got it in the vanilla i have it in the vanilla beige i think and actually i have it here this one that i already have which one is this this is the vanilla beige and then i have the other one i think the other one is brown sugar yeah it's brown sugar that's in my um purse right now so i just wanted to try out the other one i got the other one vanilla um i wanted to get the mint which is in the green container but they were all out so i may have to go on so the website and get it but yeah it's just this one is basically just clear i wanted something just clear that i can just put on my lips it's just like a clear um yeah lip balm because the other ones have some tint to them and so i just wanted one clear for like if i want to wear like a lip product or lipstick but i want like a, a glossy effect to it then i can just put this on top so because this is just a clear literally just a clear uh, bomb so there's no tint no color anything to it so i want that one so it smells like vanilla too so but i love these lip balms i highly recommend them they are so good so nourishing to your lips and yeah and it's not too greasy or anything it's, it's definitely a good lip balm so um but that's all i got from the sephora sale i was gonna get a fragrance there's one by joe malone that just recently dropped that i wanted to get but i was like i don't know i may go back and get it because i i sprayed it on like one of those little tester things those little tester cardboard little sample things and i end up getting some of it on me on my clothes and i still smell it and it smells so good i can't think of the name of it right now but i want i think i'm gonna go back to sephora um tomorrow i think and i'm gonna get that fragrance because yeah i just can't stop thinking about it so i'm i'm, I'm just not gonna stop thinking about it until i get it so um, but yeah, so those are all the things that I got while I was at Sephora. I just literally just went out today, out and about today, just to go to Sephora. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Um, I did get some things, some new in fashion things that I want to share with you guys, some new in like mostly accessories. So I'll share with you guys those things too. Um, because yeah, because I like to share with you guys all the things that I get in as far as fashion wise. So um i just recently um started to like transition or transfer transition transfer switch out <laughs> my wardrobe my uh winter stuff to my spring summer stuff so actually i'm in the process of still doing it like i took all of my winter stuff down to the uh, basement last night i'm so sore that's why i kind of like got a late start like i didn't get to sephora until like one I actually didn't get up and start getting ready till about 12 this afternoon because I was just so tired. Just And our power went out last night and it was just burning up. <laughs> so I just really didn't sleep all that well for several different reasons. So that's why I had a late start to the day. But I'm not like an early riser type person anyway. I'm not a morning person. So I'm more like a midday night person. Um, but anywho, so that's why I kind of got a late start to the day. But um, yeah. Um, on the way, um, I want to see what you guys think about this. If you even listen to it yet, on the way going and coming back home, um, I listened to the uh, the uh, be new Beyonce album. Actually, I purchased it um, just recently. Purchased it because I was listening to it on YouTube here on YouTube. Um, one of the songs, and then I was just intrigued and just ended up listening to the whole entire album on YouTube. And so I ended up buying it that same day, and I love it. I don't know what you guys think about it 
um, if you've heard it, but I love it. Like it's gotten mixed reviews, but this is probably, and I don't keep up, I love Beyonce, like I really do. Um, I don't really keep up with her music all that much, but I do love her, she's a good performer. Like, I don't, shouldn't say love her, but I like her. <laughs> you know, I'm not the biggest, you know, Beyonce fan. Like, like I'm like a diehard fan. Like, you know how you can be a, a diehard fan of, of certain people and certain things. I'm, I like her, okay? I'm not a, a huge fan, um, but I am a fan. And I haven't heard like the entirety of all her other albums, but this is the first album that I've ever purchased of hers. Usually I'll just like, purchase like a song here here or there off an album but i purchased this is the first time i ever since i think she's been out you know out there even like when she was in you know with destiny's child i never purchased an entire album so this is the first album that i purchased and i love the entire album and that says a lot because typically whenever i like whenever you know an artist comes out with a new album i typically only like a certain few you know songs on there and i typically don't purchase the whole album but this one i it was an immediate it was an immediate yes i purchased the entire album and i absolutely love it i yeah it's like a fusion of country and a little bit of gospel a little bit of blues a little bit of jazz a little bit of house music and trap music i mean it is a mixture of so many genres that it's, it's to me it's a masterpiece um it's coming from someone who loves music and sings and plays you know the piano i'm you know a musically inclined person and it is definitely a masterpiece um she i think she just recently won like first um black um uh, woman to win the country album of the country album and um, I know a lot of people are not happy about that, but to me, I don't know. The country, the 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 album is it's probably more country than anything, but it is a fusion of several different genres. So I don't even know how to even categorize it. Like I was tell, talking to my husband because he listened to it with me on the way back home, and I was asking him his opinion about it. He's not really that much into music. He was like, it's okay, um, but he's not like a diehard music fan like me, but. He actually, he liked it too. Um, and he was saying too how it's a mixture of a lot of things. Like you just can't really pinpoint and say it's country, but also you can't really pinpoint and say what it is. It's just a mixture of a lot of different genres. Um, but I like it. I don't know if you guys have heard it. If you haven't, you can listen to the whole entire album on here on YouTube or you can sample it, but I liked it. And I think I think it's a good, good album. I think it's a good album. Um, if it doesn't win her in a, a Grammy for album of the year, then we know, I mean, we already know the Grammys and all that stuff is already, you know, fixed and rigged, but she definitely should win a Grammy for that album. But anywho, I just felt like saying that or talking about that just because I was listening to the album on the way back home, on the way there and on the way back home. So, but yeah, so that is my little take on Beyonce's country, what is it, Cowboy Carter album. And really she's got me like wanting to bust out my cowboy boots. <laughs> and even though it's about to get like hot here in Georgia, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna find some kind of way to wear my cowboy boots and my cowboy hats. I don't have a lot of cowboy hats. I think I only have actually one, actually I only have one cowboy hat. And it's more like a straw type of a beachy type of vibe that I wore um on our vacation to orange beach but i do have several cowboy boots um but i'm gonna be rocking them because she makes me want to just channel my inner cowgirl <laughs> and i'm not even a cowgirl like that y'all but yeah I, I i like i like versatility in music when it comes to music i'm very versatile i like all kinds of music and i was i was for the longest saying that i don't like country music and i still to this day hold fast to that but um Beyonce's album her, her album has kind of gotten me to where I'm like okay let me give country a try <laughs> let me give country a try I've been saying that I don't like country music but her 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 music is more of a fusion so it, as long as it's, if it's country just with like a little fusion of other genres then I think I can get with it but I can't get with that twangy just I can't get with that stuff <laughs> just cannot um but anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys some fashion bits real quick. I'm actually gonna try to go figure out what we're gonna eat first, um, cause I am starving. I had like a little breakfast sandwich this morning for breakfast, but now 
my kids are about to get home so we need to figure out what we're gonna eat so um but yeah i will check up with you guys in just a little bit all right guys so i thought i would open up some packages as you can see here are my packages here so i'm just gonna open them up real quick and share with you guys some of the things that i just recently got um so yeah let's get into it so the first thing i got is from mango and actually i already know what this is because i already have it in three well this will make the third color option that i have this in and it's just a handbag that i have in like i said two other colors i have this handbag in a black and in like a camel color as well so i had to get this color just because i love it so much so here's the bag it is a dupe of like the celine box bag and so i saw it on mango and just had to get it and it's right now on currently on sale so um but yeah i got it in like this taupe color which is just a cute little neutral tone this will match i have some gucci um loafers that will match these perfectly so um but yeah so yeah i've already shown that bag before but like i said i have it in two other colors that i shared with you guys earlier in like another video so all right the next thing i got is from a brand i've never bought from before all right and the next thing i got is from a brand that i have never bought from before and it's from this brand culture culture kings and i actually bought a hat from here and i don't know i think i saw this on instagram one day i really need i really do need to stay off instagram i'll find some cute some different brands which i think is good because i'm kind of like branching out and like ordering and finding things from different brands so um so the next thing i got is this hat and it is like a little trucker hat of course with the new york logo on it a new york yankees logo on it and i love like the floral kind of like tapestry kind of detail to this hat and like i said it's a trucker hat so um i really love this it definitely looks it looked different on the website um but it definitely looks better in person so this is just to add to my abundance of hat collections that i have so um i just thought this would be cute for like the spring and summertime because of the floral detail to it so just kind of way to add a little bit of floral detail to my outfits without actually having to go full-blown floral plus i love like statement pieces like this i've really been honing in on buying accessories here lately so um if you see hauls with accessories then that's why because i've been just feel like i have a lot of good bit of clothes so i'm just like looking for like different accessories so like you know accessorize and just make the outfits a little bit different like some of my favorite like outfit you know combinations or outfit formulas um i've been trying to figure out ways to really make them different so one way you can do that is accessory so but yeah so love that hat and then the next brand is zara so the next thing i got is from zara and i got two pieces from there actually i have some more stuff in like in my rolling rack in the back that i'll share with you guys too this stuff i just got today in the mail so i just thought i would share it with you um so we're just kind of doing the first impressions with the um this unboxing stuff here so um but yeah so this is the packaging that it came in and again just more accessories so the first piece is this and it's just like a pearl necklace it actually is two of them actually so it's two pearl necklaces and i've been seeing this on um zara i tried to go in the store and find it before i went on vacation on um, spring break but they didn't have it in stock so i ended up ordering it online so i love pearl necklaces and i love like this chunky pearl detail to it so i got that one and i also got this one because i wanted to kind of like layer like the two here i think that'll be really a cute statement piece because we you know statement jewelry is huge right now so just kind of layering necklaces i've been kind of into that as you can see like layering necklaces but i wanted to do like more of a chunky kind of a style so um this is actually two necklaces so here's the two two separate necklaces so i can do both of them or i could just do one um i actually have a necklace like this that i got from i think uh, where did I get that necklace from similar to this but it's old and like the back of it is starting to like um, change colors on it and stuff so I don't know um, so I thought I would replace it with this one because I kind of like this one better because it has like small beads on it as well as like some medium-sized beads or beads 
or pearls, I should say. And then this one has the large one. So yeah, I think that'll be cute to kind of layer that up with. So yes, yeah, so I got those. And then the last box I have is from Koss. So here is Koss. And it's one of my new favorite brands as well. I got a few, I don't think I got any clothing pieces in this. No, these are definitely accessories. So most of the stuff that I got in these boxes are accessories. All the things that I got in these boxes are accessories. So um, but yeah, like I said, I've just really been into accessories and shoes. And um, because in the summertime, spring, summer, really i go all out with accessories because it's just too hot to like wear a whole bunch of stuff i typically am just like a one and done with dresses and then i just um accessorize with shoes or handbags or um like you know jewelry so yeah so um just gonna let me sit it down all right so first thing i got are some shoes and i went into the ballet flats I have been into ballet flat, so it's not, it, even though they're trendy, it's nothing new for me. It just kind of fits right into my wardrobe. So the first pair I got are these, and they are so cute. Just some red ballet, kind of Mary Jane style um, ballet flats. So I thought these were so cute, and it feels like genuine leather. I'm pretty sure, because they were expensive, so I'm pretty sure these are genuine leather. Um, although it doesn't say it on here, but I'm pretty sure they are, so... Here is what they look like. So just some red ballet flats, just some simple ballet flats. These aren't really that simple because they have like some ruching detail here at the toe. And the toe is like a square kind of a toe here. Um, but I love these, these are so cute. And of course I love red. And um, so I just thought I would add to my red collection with these shoes. So I got these in a size nine, so a US nine. So I hope they fit. Um, because typically I'm a nine, I'm a nine and a half, but when it comes to certain shoes, especially like flats like this, I think nines works best, but I'm going to try them on and see, hopefully they will fit. Um, so if not, then of course later, definitely going back and I'll get a bigger size, but, um, and then the next pair of ballet flats I got are these and they are the cream they're different from the red ones because the toe part is different so you'll be I'll show you so I mean I don't care like if I like something I get in multiple colors but the shoe is different so yeah this is more of an almond toe as you can see this is more of a square so they're different um, but yeah so I got a pair of cream one or white ballet flats slash Mary Jane style shoes and these are so cute too. These are really good quality shoes. They ought to be because they were pretty pricey for some ballet flats. Um, but I think they're genuine leather. They feel like they're genuine leather. So like I say, really good quality. And um, again, like I said, I can style these up in the spring and summertime with dresses or even like with some jeans, like some tough, um, like uh, distressed jeans to kind of balance it out a little bit so it's not too girly because they are kind of girly and feminine shoes. So. But yeah, I just thought these were cute. They kind of look a little edgy to me. I don't know what it is. I think the hardware kind of makes it look a little edgy. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And I like this kind of like detail here with the toe. How it does this little detail. I don't think the red ones do that. No, the red ones don't. But I like this little like V kind of detail to the shoe. Just think it flatters your foot really well. I don't know if my foot will like my actual toes will show. But I just like that. I think it's just flattering. So, yeah, so those are the cream ones, and I really love those. So, I'm really loving all the accessories. I typically do. I typically love the accessories when I get them. Usually, clothing is just iffy, but usually the accessories, I tend to like them. All right, and then the next thing I got is this little bag here, again, to go with my little red ballet flats. I thought these could be my little pop of color with a neutral outfit. So yeah, so I have a few of these little bags already. I got two from Aritzia in like a black and like a cream color. So I wanted like something colorful for the spring and summertime. So Cos, Cos have a lot of these bags actually on their website. So um, yeah, but just like a little puffy kind of textured bag just to add like some detail and interest. It said a mini bag on the website, I think is what it's described as. Um, but it's definitely not mini. I mean, it's not mini to me, but I definitely can fit all of my things in here. So just 
love that little bag so it's like a little shoulder bag um but yeah so love that it matches perfectly the reds match perfectly with my ballet flats and then the last thing i got is this handbag here and i'm loving this blue color i got it mainly for the color and this is more of like a crossbody style so similar to the red one except this one's more crossbody and more of like a i don't know you can, i don't know if you can fit yeah kind of can fit more into this one it's kind of spacious too but i really just like the color you know that baby blue is another trending color for the season so i love this pastel blue so yeah this is more of like a crossbody bag that i can just kind of like you know use to you know run errands in so this is perfect run, running errands handbag and blue to me i feel like it's a neutral in some instances it can be neutral so this will go with pretty much everything that i have so um but yeah i love this color love this colorway i'm kind of like wanting to buy more things in this color so but yeah so those are all the things as far as accessories uh, that i got or that i'm unboxing just got today so let me just share with you guys some things that i just got um earlier this week all right so we'll just stick with accessories and shoes um so the first thing i got or the other thing that i got from zara is this little handbag here and i love this and it definitely looks i think this is a dupe of i think one that prada does they have one and i saw it on the site and just had to scoop it up it actually comes with like a crossbody strap as well so i'm trying to pull it out here um but anyway i can't get it out i'll try to show you on the screen what it looks like on the uh from the website so you can kind of see but yeah it comes with like this little um cloth or fabric um crossbody bag and this actually looks like really good quality too um yeah it's a cute summer bag you can wear it like this um, or like on your shoulder like that or you can again put the straps on or these straps on and wear a crossbody so I thought this was really cute and just it looked very designer-esque so um, just perfect another perfect running errands um, handbag that I can you know wear for the uh, spring and summertime and then the next pair of shoes are these and I showed these in my recent video I did where I was styling up burgundy or showing you guys how to style burgundy so I'll pop that um, up here if you guys want to watch it um, but these are some shoes that I featured in that video so I thought I would talk about them so um, they are from ego shoes as you can see here it says ego and um, I bought the ones from Steve Madden by the way these are a dupe of the Mew Mew ones I actually posted a um video on tiktok and someone thought they were from Mew Mew, and i had to let them know no girl they are a dupe these are from ego so yeah these are a dupe a really good dupe of the Mew Mew ones and like i said steve madden also have something like this and i think tony bianco as well but the ones from tony bianco are on back order actually the ones from steve madden and tony tony bianco are on back order so if you like these kind of shoes they're just a cute little kitten heel and just in this burgundy color we know that burgundy is huge and trending um, if you're looking for some shoes like this, then they have them on Ego. So, um, but yeah, I've been wanting some shoes like this. These were on my wish list for a minute. I wanted to get some like this. So, um, I don't know how I ended up finding them on Ego, girl. I just did. So, um, so, so happy I got those. And then, well, now we'll go to clothing because I didn't get a few clothing pieces. Again, this um, is from Zara. So, I just got some green like wide leg trousers they have like a elasticated waistband so i have some green um like cargo trousers that are kind of stiff so i've been into like trousers like this just like with this elasticated waistband just wide leg and just comfortable just something easy breezy to wear running errands or just anywhere i'm not gonna style these pieces up because y'all know I do styling videos if you don't know and you're new here I do styling videos so a lot of these pieces I'm gonna style up in some upcoming videos so just be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the you know those videos and how I style up these pieces because yeah I do styling videos girl so and give you guys outfit inspiration so these things will be styled up in an upcoming video at some point so um but yeah so these I love these they have little pockets in the back which are functional which I probably would never use and then they also have the drawstring in case like it's still too big so 
even if you know as I'm losing weight I can still cinch these in even more which I love that and they're perfect length on me because I've already tried these on because I'm like 5'8 so and I got mine in a size extra large just because I need you know to go up because my hips and my butt and whatnot so but yeah I just wanted been wanting some green trousers like this like I said I have some that are more of like a cargo kind of a style I actually gave them to my daughter but I just didn't like them wasn't feeling them anymore so I um, gave those to her and so I replaced those with these so just really love those trousers then the next two items I got are from Nordstrom I was just randomly on Nordstrom I don't even know why I was on there I, randomly, I ra rarely go on Nordstrom unless like I'm searching for something on Google and then it just takes me to Nordstrom so um but first thing I got is this dress or not dress skirt girl um I saw this skirt and I thought it was so pretty I love like floral but I like I like a dark floral as you can tell from the hat um because I'm not really that much of a floral girl like as far as prints go florals are like the last print that I would wear but it has to be a dark floral because it just I don't know it's just too girly and just looks too old and matronly so it has to be the right type of floral in order for me to wear it and I thought this skirt was so pretty um it's definitely definitely such a pretty skirt and I got my I think what did it get in a US 12 so it fits me just fine um but I really love like the asymmetric detail Kind of has like this asymmetric detail and it has like a chiffon type of a uh, sheer kind of fabric to it and it has of course the um slip underneath it so that's not too sheer but the bottom of it is kind of sheer um but yes yeah, has like this kind of like lace not lace this i don't know what you call it uh it's asymmetric and kind of like i don't know what you call it um frilly kind of frilly detail to it so it's definitely giving me like Spanish senorita kind of vibes but um like 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 I said girls I'm gonna style this up in a video so I don't know if you can see like the frill it's like an asymmetric frill in the front as well as at the bottom so I'll try to pop a picture so you guys can see what it looks like on the screen um but like I said I'm not gonna try this stuff on today I'm gonna save that for a styling video so um but yeah, I can dress this up in so many different ways. Like, I can, even, I think this will be cute even with like a graphic tee or just any kind of t-shirt or of course a tank top or it's still a little chilly now. I can probably could do with wearing like a light little sweater or cardigan too. So just so many ways, such a versatile piece. Like I said, dark florals to me, I can, I find more use out of them because it tends to be more wearable for me as far as are not wear not wearable but more versatile because a lot of my pieces in my wardrobe are basics and neutrals so i tend to be able to style up dark florals better um or this is just more versatile um and then the next skirt i got from nordstrom is this one animal print I, or leopard print cheetah print leopard print um i've just been going crazy with it y'all i just actually before i re started filming ordered a um, leopard print hat that I got from um, Ghani. I saw Politics and Fashion. I don't know if you guys follow her on here on YouTube, but she was doing a video. I think it was a styling video. It might have been a reel like, or a uh, short YouTube shorts. Um, but she had uh, this leopard print Ghani hat and I needed to get it. I immediately went to Ghani and got that hat. Um, but anyway, so this is a maxi skirt. Like a, it's not really a slip slip skirt. Cause it's not like satiny it's kind of like um polyester kind of ish but it has a lining in it of course so that it's not see-through um i got it in i think a us 12 as well um doesn't have the um doesn't have the thing on it it says extra large so i don't know it's from the brand waif by the way i don't know not familiar with that brand um but it's just a long maxi skirt like i said i'm 5'8 so it definitely goes down it actually uh kind of drags the floor which i like because i can wear heels with it and it still be long um and then obviously if it's too long like if i wear flats then i can just kind of you know kind of wear it more high-waisted because skirts like this with an elasticated waistband which this does have um they're good because you can wear them any kind of way that you want as far as the waist so you can wear them high rise or you can wear them kind of mid rise or low rise i'm not really that much of a low rise girl but um yeah you can just kind of 
wear them any kind of rise that you want because it's elasticated so but i thought this was so pretty and i love the leopard print on it i'm very particular about my leopard prints they have to look like this in order for me to get them um but yeah so yeah that's from nordstrom oh and this skirt that i got from nordstrom this one is from the brand what is this? i think it's top shop uh it says asos that's weird um what's the brand oh top shop so the skirt is from the brand top shop but the it came from asos which came from nordstrom so that's weird <laughs> i guess nordstrom maybe nordstrom got it from asos i don't know that's weird i've never seen that um but i guess you can find it on asos too um yeah so love those two skirts those would be perfect to wear in the spring and summer like i said in the spring and summer i'm just like a one and done simple um dresser as far as like what i wear like i don't i'm not gonna wear a lot of layering because it's too hot especially where i live so i'm either in a skirt and like a top or a dress trousers and a top so my clothing is pretty simple but i like to accessorize you know um and then the last piece i got is from dish my new other favorite brand and again some trousers like i said i'm in skirts dresses or trousers so these are trousers that i got from dish these were on sale um i think they're currently on sale but this i got in a size us 12 so again elasticated can't go wrong with that and um i love the love the print on these they're very high waisted they're kind of like silky satiny kind of material which i really much love and i just love the colors like a cream and black and it's in this like bandana kind of print um i don't even know the print it's just very kind of reminds me of like italy or something it's giving me italy vibes like you know the italian Rivi you know italian riviera french Ri i was gonna say italian riviera girl there was no italian riviera i think but it gives me italian vibes okay <laughs> um but i just love it and it um it's long enough for me it's not too long but it's long enough so again elasticated waistband can't go wrong with that so this is also a versatile piece i can style this up with um black tank top black blouse black or even cream i probably can wear cream with this or even like a like a um graphic tee or something like yeah so versatile my typical outfit formula is in uniform so um but those are all the things that i just recently got i said all the things but i seems like it's a lot doesn't it because it is <laughs> it's a lot of stuff but um like i said i've been um in my wardrobe and just kind of like getting my wardrobe ready for the spring and summer and i'm actually when i actually go through my spring and summer stuff i don't even know what all i said earlier um i put away my winter things and so i'm gonna go through my spring and summer stuff and see what i want to get rid of and what i want to keep before i bring it actually up here to um, my closets because i don't want to put stuff in here that i'm not gonna wear so i'm gonna do like a whole closet clean out more like a storage clean out because it's, the stuff is in my storage downstairs in the basement so i'm gonna go through that stuff and figure out what no longer serves me what no lo, no longer i like no, what I'm no longer feeling and just kind of go from there because I don't have a lot of spring and summer I don't have a lot of spring and summer stuff most of the things that I have are fall winter just because of all the layering that I do in the fall and winter time but in the spring and summer I, my wardrobe is pretty much light and so and I pretty much wear the same stuff like the same you know combinations is what I wear like I said skirts dresses and trousers so um but yeah so those are all the things that i got um everything that i share with you guys i will link it down in the description box in case you were interested and you want to purchase anything um i got a lot of good pieces this is a really good spring haul really good spring summer haul so um really good quality pieces so but um yeah so that's it all right guys so we are about to head out um i forgot to well i didn't forget i just haven't had a chance to do my outfit of the day um so i just thought i would do it now um so this is the outfit of the day um starting from the top i have on my ralph lauren hat um i have on some little hoop earrings that i got from amazon and then i have on a few little necklaces here this one that says mama is from anna louisa this one i think this was also from anna louisa this one here I think it's from Amazon. This is from Free People, I believe. 
for either and then i think it's urban outfitters i think this is from urban outfitters and then my sweater it's kind of breezy but not too bad so i'm trying to get my wear out of this sweater before it gets too hot um this is my ralph lauren little teddy bear sweater that i got um I think I got bought this for myself for Christmas. I can't remember at this point when I buy stuff. But anyway, this is my first time wearing it since I bought it. And I've had it several months. So why am I putting it out just now? I don't know. But um, but yeah, so this is my Ralph Lauren little teddy bear sweater. And then I have on my little mango um, handbag that I just shared with you guys in the haul. Um, the other color that I got um, or just purchased. So I got this color and then the black. And then I just have on a little bangle from Shein, my little watch, uh, Apple Watch. These trousers, so comfortable. These are from Shein as well. I got them several years ago, um, but they kind of give me Ralph Lauren vibes. But I love all the colors in this, these trousers. And then my Adidas, my green Adidas Samba. So, so this is the look of the day. Oh, and then I put on my eyeglasses because the contacts were starting to dry out and starting to aggravate me. So I put on my... Um, ray-ban eyeglasses um i took my contacts out so um but yeah just want to share with you guys my outfit of the day real quick so we're gonna get out of here <music> 